so I just woke up it's uh, noon <laughs> we are just at home hardware grabbing some chairs for outside and after that I am so pumped I'm going to start my cheat day I haven't had a actual cheat day in over four weeks so I'm really pumped about today I'm just gonna Anyway, so let's grab these chairs and then I really want some cheat day foods. I see you soon. So breakfast of the champions right here. So <laughs> back in my backyard, this thing is so melted, but I got a cotton candy blizzard. which was a new summer flavor. I like it. Mm. Also, I don't know where you guys live, but in Canada, this week has been stinking hot. Like yesterday, I think it was 31 degrees and it felt like felt like 39 degrees. It was so hot. I sat out <laughs> in my bikini to suntan for probably 20 minutes. I burnt my entire backside from my shoulders all the way to my butt. Like my butt is burnt too. <sighs> Okay, so I'm gonna head inside and I think I'm gonna do a workout and fix myself up probably. And I actually have more desserts for later, so I'm really excited to show you what else I got. Workout complete. Okay, so Kyle and I just finished that workout. I am drenched as you can see. Oh my gosh, there's grass stuck to my forehead. That's cool. There is an app that I've been using. I'll link it down below. It has a bunch of free work. It has a bunch of free workouts. It's called Workouts for Women. They have a couple free ones that I highly recommend. There is two COVID ones. There's like a COVID immuno boost number one, which is what Kyle and I did before I started filming, and it's 10 minutes. And then the one that you saw little clips of was the COVID immuno boost number two, which is just a little bit higher intensity. So try it out. Highly recommend. So I'm gonna hop in the shower and then make something for, it's almost supper, but it's my lunch, so I'm gonna make something to eat. Okay, so next 
thing I'm going to eat after that workout is something called taco in a bag. I don't know if you've ever heard of this. I would assume that most people have had it, but Carl said he never had it growing up, but this was like a staple when I was in like middle school and high school. They would always have this at like canteens or like volleyball tournaments and stuff. So let me just show you how to make it anyway. Basically, it is everything that you would put in a taco, you're putting in a crumbled up bag of Doritos. In school, they would always use like the little ones, but I have some leftover like of this big bag. That's all that's left in the bag anyway. So I'm gonna crunch these up. That's the consistency you're going for. Pretty crummy. And we're just gonna add everything into there. So I'm putting in these Beyond Meat crumbles that I put taco seasoning in. Putting in some shredded cheese. I have a lot, <laughs> more than I probably need. Shredded lettuce. Again, I have a lot. Extra chunky salsa. Sour cream. And of course, sriracha. Now you just kind of mix it up. And there you have it. Taco in a bag. Okay, just eating outside. So I hope that air conditioner thing is not too loud. This is a shit ton of taco in a bag. Like this is massive. When they give it to you in middle school, it's like I said, one of those tiny little single size bags. I'm actually really excited. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't made this at home sooner. Oh my god. It's incredible. It's so good. It looks disgusting. That's what it looks like. It looks absolutely disgusting, but it is so freaking good. Please comment down below if you've had this before, and if you have, where you're from, because I'm very curious. Like I said, Kyle's never had it, so I don't think it's an Ontario thing, but I grew up in Saskatchewan and we had this all the time, so I'm curious. And if you haven't had this before, do yourself a favor and make it. It's so freaking good and really easy. Normally also, normally you put um, tomatoes in it, but I didn't have any tomatoes, so I was like, ah, you know what, salsa's good enough and it tastes the same, so. I'm 100% making this again. That was so good. So good. I was gonna say I put the perfect ratio of stuff, but like, I feel like even if I, even if I messed it up and put like a bunch of different stuff, I don't think it could be wrong. Like I feel like no matter how much lettuce or how much salsa or how much whatever you put in, you can't really fuck this up. <laughs> My goodness, too. This morning, when I said we were gonna go get lawn chairs, I'm sitting on the ground, we didn't get lawn chairs. <laughs> oh my gosh, we were looking. And the exact chair that we wanted, the flyer came out, and tomorrow, when the flyer is effective, it's the same chair for $10 cheaper. So we're like, fuck. We waited in line like 15 minutes before we realized that. But yeah, we left and we're gonna go back tomorrow and get it. That is why I am laying or sitting on the grass and not in a nice, beautiful zero gravity chair. There's like half a, hmm. there's like half a cup left. I am gonna actually save this for Kyle because I know he's never had it before and I don't want to deprive him any longer. <laughs> that poor boy, he's never lived a childhood. <laughs> My upstairs uh, people just saw me filming out the window saying, is Val a vlogger? Cause that's like extremely cool. <laughs> anyway, 
As I was saying, I'm gonna go get this to Kyle and wait for dessert because it is so freaking delicious. Actually, I don't know if it's gonna be delicious. I ordered cookies online from a place called Colossal Cookie. So I have six cookies waiting in my fridge. I'm so excited. So stay tuned for that in three, two, one, cookie. Okay, so I ordered these cookies from a Toronto company called Colossal Cookie. They came like maybe four days after I ordered them, but I have six cookies. So I'm gonna try, which ones? Fudged up. I'm gonna try them all, but I'm just gonna try these ones first. Sensation and the goat. Okay, let's get into these cookies before they, oh my God, they smell so good, before they get cold. So I microwave them for more than 15 seconds because there's three of them. We'll start with the one I'm least excited about, the fudged up. I'm not a chocolate fan. If you've been watching my videos, you kind of know that. I don't mind chocolate chips, but chocolate chocolate flavored stuff is not my favorite. That's what it looks like. So it says, a game changer in the Canadian cookie scene, the fudged up more than satisfies your cravings with plenty of chocolate and fudge. It's a fan favorite for a reason. So let's see. Oh, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness. Okay, so look how much chocolate is in there. I like fudge, so I'm probably gonna like this. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. It's one of those cookies that tastes kind of like cookie dough in the middle because it's so soft, but on the outside it's crunchy. It's so good. Mm. 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 That's friggin' good. So yeah, obviously if you love chocolate, that'll probably be one of your favorites. Next, I'm gonna try the goat. This bad boy. The goat is uh, what you get when you combine two heavenly chocolates and sweet, sweet pecans. Oh wait, that's a question. <laughs> it says, what do you get when you combine two heavenly chocolates and sweet, sweet pecans? One delectable cookie that lives up to its name. That's what. Mm, okay. Sorry, it's creeping in the background. Mmm, there's a whole pecans. Ooh, baby, I'm gonna like this one. Love pecans or pecans, whatever. A lot less chocolatey. I like it. <laughs> there's a pecan right there. Mm, I like that one better. It had that same like gooeyness in the center, but there was less chocolate. So for me, it was more bearable. Okay, the next one is the Sensation. Oh, this one looks good. You can tell they like pumped something in it. There's like a center with some sort of cinnamon glaze cream pumped in the center. And this one says, with a decadent combination of silky white chocolate, shredded coconut, and cinnamon toast crunch, your taste buds are in for a sensational treat. Get this in my mouth. Oh my god. Let's crack it open. Oh, I'm dripping. This one's gonna be my favorite. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. That is so good. My only comment is that because the cinnamon toast crunch is like baked into the cookie, it's actually very chewy, which I don't know if I like that texture. I kind of wish they had like a couple on top because I do miss the crunch of like cinnamon toast crunch. That is so good. 
ones. Okay, I do have three others, so I'm gonna go warm those ones up and then bring them back here. Meeple Monster, Rise and Blind, and Peanut Butter Peak. Three more left. I'm saving the best for last. So obviously that birthday cake looking one is last. <laughs> right now I'm gonna try the one that I'm honestly least excited about of all of them. <laughs> so this is the only like fully chocolate one, but it's got peanut butter in it. So we'll see. I love peanut butter, don't like chocolate. Mm. But this is called the Peanut Butter Peak. It says reaching the top of this mountain of a cookie has its delicious benefits loaded with peanut butter cups and crumbled pirate cookies those pirate cookies are good it will make your journey that much sweeter okay i'm a little bit more excited after reading that because i love peanut butter cups and i love those pirate cookies maybe this will be better than i expected let's crack it open okay that wasn't as exciting as i hoped it would be <laughs> i thought there would be peanut butter oozing everywhere let's try this Mm -mm. I found some peanut butter cup in the bottom there. That's not bad. That one wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. If there wasn't peanut butter in that, I definitely would have hated it. <laughs> oh my god, it smells so good. This is called the Maple Monster. Look at that. so soft it's really falling apart this one says this premium cookie has the size and flavor to satisfy even the biggest sweet tooth cravings iconic canadian maple flavor in colossal form Whew, yummy let's try it if i'm being honest I'm not sure if this cookie is completely cooked in the center. It looks really doughy, which I do not care. <laughs> Personally, I eat cookie batter more than I actually eat the cookies. So I love that it's cookie dough. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like complete dough in the middle. Some people might not like that. I love it. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay, that maple one it's the best one yet but like i said i saved the best for last <laughs> this birthday cake looking one looks phenomenal this is called the rise and blind it's not every day you encounter a cookie so full of color crunch and creativity all the more reason to enjoy this white chocolate walnut and fruit loop creation any time of the day yeah that sounds good <laughs> Kyle's gonna like this. His favorite cereal is Fruit Loops, so this is probably gonna be one for Kyle. Here we go. Mm. Oh, this looks so good. That is so good. Very good. A little sweet. I like it. <laughs> Whew. Okay, that is enough sugar to put me in a little bit of a coma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna wash up and then we'll see what else I get into. It's already 6.30 and we work at 9 p.m. So I might make something else, but I'm not too sure. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I will see you guys for my next little meal. Okay, that is everything I'm gonna have today. I am heading to work now for a night shift, but thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Hope you're all safe and doing well and love you guys and I'll see you in the next video, bye.